Hello everybody! A uh, little video here was brought in a uh, question that came in today uh, from a guy who is a twin flame runner and he's like uh, uh, put the question kind of like a very good and a very good way and uh, I told him you know I'm gonna respond to, uh, on a video on this uh, because you can't just answer it something over the text uh, something that it's kind of like a little bit uh, broader a little bit bigger uh, than uh, just a, you know a simple text so um, the question was from uh, Palop Andre Dio please if you can make a video on how to surrender I mean I'm a twin runner I love my twin so much but the fear or something that made me block the connection at first doesn't let me reach out for my twin now and um, here is the answer of the question it is it's the fear the question to me Andre it's about what fear do you have uh, fear to go ahead and admit that you love your twin at the beginning fear of what others would think about if you do that uh, fear that maybe you're married which is most of the case is uh, what was that fear look at it deeply inside of your fear uh, um, uh, Paulo, just look at it. Uh, look at it. That fear will tell you everything. If you watch, uh, you already watched the previous video, the fixing the timeline. You have to go back in time and revise everything that happened between you and your twin when you guys are uh, met together. We guys in the physical. What happened? What is the thing? Uh, what did you not surrender? Why made you to run away from it? seek that in there it's inside of you uh that could be uh, so many reasons maybe your twin has a, you guys have a different age gap maybe you guys have a lot of ego that you guys haven't solved yet uh, maybe the situation was a that uh, you were scared of love the real love and maybe the real love it scares you so much because uh, it's so hard when you have love for this kind of high uh, vibrations which is involved in the soul uh, you to create that running away uh, from it um, you saying you blocked the connection yes uh, you probably did uh, pretty much every runner when they running away uh, they kind of like cut all contacts uh, what, like I stated in a previous video it's like uh, alien abductions the alien take him away so you probably uh, disappear uh, totally and even your twin if and if you want to find you uh, they will find you um, I spoke about in the previous videos about uh, the triangle uh, that is a uh, between you and your twin and I actually explained in some of the videos uh, about it so um, I will do it again uh, so um, uh, it can be helpful for you uh, into if it was your twin and this is you here is the universe God depends of your perceptions how you want to do it when you run away you actually run away from the connection with the universe because of the connection with your twin flame and um, your twin flame they have uh, responsibility to have their own connection with the universe so what would they going to do however they can have this connection here halfway and here it's this little thing that it's breaking it up and electricity this is a normally often contact I'll give you this is like a open the door you left the door open uh, how you surrender which that was your main question and it says first of all you surrender to whatever the universe created 
you accepted your twin flame as who they are maybe they are have a, you guys have a different age maybe you guys uh, maybe same sex maybe you guys are uh, um, different culture different continent maybe there is a lot of difference uh, this one it's a very good because once you solve the differences and you accept the differences between you and your twin flame into you will learn on um, um, that case that the difference once you accept them they are not any more differences they become part of the connection they become part of this uh, divine union which is we all go into it now what uh, once you surrender to the universe the universe will guide you what you need to do simply the universe is the connecting point between you and your twin since you are not in the physical and there is nothing you can do about this part of how the universe was going to be respond to your twin only you can do about this your own self connections to the universe and how you're going to be going back to your twin since you are the runner um, you have to surrender um, your fear to the universe, overcome your fear, because fear is nothing but it illusions. Uh, I made a quote, but since my old computer died, I don't have it anymore. Uh, they're somewhere out there floating on the Facebook. I have to chase them down where I post them, when I post them. But the fears are illusions. Those are the limitations that come in from uh, bad programming. Those are the illusions from uh, uh, bad uh, thinking. Uh, for example, um, I will tell you a true story. There is a lot of the people who have uh, limitations that they cannot get certain things in a certain time into it uh, just because they already have pre-programming that for them it's impossible uh, to do it. For me, uh, sitting in the front of camera a few years back, that was for me impossible. But uh, as you see it, to me right now it's something completely normal and you have to look at it, your limitations inside of you what that fear it's limiting you it's limiting your soul is limiting who you are is limiting your your journey your destiny is limiting what you are were made it for so surrender you surrender to the fact that your twin is your twin and as uh, I look at it, your message uh, a little bit more, uh, doesn't uh, let me reach out for my twin. That fear doesn't let you down. Don't let you to reach out to your twin. What is the fear? Again, that she's gonna abandon you. That uh, she's gonna be like, uh, start telling you, giving your names. How could you for five years, you need call, you never show, uh, shame on you, look at yourself. Is that the fear that you're looking inside of you? Or the fear that you did something very bad to her when you guys separate and you guys begin your separation process. What is that fear? It's deep inside of you. You have to look at the fear like a newspaper don't just read the front page usually on the front page with the big letters as uh, blah 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 this is what happens and give you a big picture and live it underneath the picture says open the newspaper on page 16 but you look at the picture and you have your visions about this your fear it's the same way you have to go open up the newspaper on page 16 and read the article. It's the same thing is you have to open up your fear and re read it, what it was. Now you have understanding because of Twin Flame, you already accept the fact that you are Twin Flame runner and now you're seeking in a way how to go back. The same way you run away is going to be the same way you go back. Thinking about it of um, like a spring, 
you take the spring, you put it away, the spring was naturally going to go back the same way on its own. And that's how the connection will be. Now, the question is, into it is, uh, as you say, it's like an uh, addict, but I'm scared to do anything about it. Even though I love my twin so much, and I want to be with her right now, I mean, I can't overcome my fears. I love her so much, but I'm scared of her. Why are you scared of your twin? What's going to happen about your twin? You scared of a union? You scared there's going to be no more your own way? You scared that you're going to be not in a control? What are you scared of? It? Of love? You need to look at it inside of you and, and seek more and more what you are scared really from it. Maybe you're scared from yourself into and uh, at the end you finish it like it, it's like insanity. What it's insanity is like for uh, usually that's what the, the runner kind of like using it. It's they keep doing the same thing over and over trying to expect uh, a different result. So now it's the time you to create an actions. My little advice will, to you will be create a small action. Maybe find you to uh, send a uh, maybe a apologizing letter. It's like I'm sorry, I was an idiot. Um, I had so much fears of this real love. I do understand what we are right now. I love you so much. The part of admission that you love it, your twin, since you're a runner, will release all that fear. Because you probably had fear in the beginning when uh, you guys were in this bubble phase, even to go ahead and say, I love you. The part is if you were with your twin, if you were with your twin in physical, then you bolt out, uh, then uh, uh, you have to go ahead and have a talk with your twin. What happened? What did you do? Why did you do it? What was the reasons they made you so your twin can understand you? Now, the big question that comes in into is you have to have no expectations. You have to have no expectations from your twin what will they will do. Uh, during the separation, your twin flame is supposed to be evolved enough so they can let you go back in. Uh, don't preset yourself for positive or a negative uh, outcome when you reconnect back with your twin. Uh, you have to go ahead when you reconnect back with your twin. You have to just uh, be honest. Uh, admit your honest mistakes. Uh, admit uh, what happened into it. Look inside of you and let your soul out. Basically, speak your soul out. Uh, see what you can do and surrender to love. That is your main question is, is to surrender to the love. Go ahead, meet your twin, be in the, uh, a nice conversations into it. Now, if your twin rejects you, don't take it personally. They're rejecting the part of the pain of the separations inside of them. They have not overcoming that pain into it. They haven't let it go of this. And uh, if she is uh, acting in a different way, uh, just uh, uh, be calm and have the understanding not to create the worst problem, have the understanding of what they're going through. You, you went through all this process to gain the understanding what real love is. You didn't went to this process just because of something. Right now, you begin to listen to your soul, and that's why you wrote that message, because your soul seeking to surrender. But what you have to surrender is your ego. The ego that in the first time give you on the bad advices, giving you bad situations, giving you on the bad uh, parts of it. And, um, for example, you know, the way my twin listened to everybody else, she didn't listen to the soul. She bought out, she didn't left anything, no phone number, no connections, no nothing. Um, you can't find her on uh, any social media. It's basically the aliens take her away into it. I have to have the powers now inside of me. If she sends a text, you know, hey, dear, can we talk? Then I have to forgive her. 
and you have to find the powers inside of you to understand that if your twin flame is, doesn't forgive you for what you did in the first place, uh, they still have to find the power inside of them to listen to the soul to forgive you because you are returning that love, you give them back that love. You re-energize the love inside of them by you admitting what you did wrong. This is why uh, this confession, uh, if you uh, go ahead and uh, uh, search on my videos, uh, just put the word confessions, you will see it. That it's a great video in there uh, when you make the confession because the confession first you make it with your soul to God, you doing this connection and then you make a confession to a twin. And this is why right now you're going to be swapping the the things you're gonna become the chaser and if your twin doesn't run you'll catch it but if she becomes the runner then you're gonna be have to go ahead and it's like okay well I know you chase me now I chase you why we not just stop running why we not just stop see and see if we can find a ways to solve our differences whatever they are uh, there is a lot of difference that's what the twin flames comes in into it is for example for the rest of the world that people have to overcome differences in the name of love that exist uh, into it and that's what uh, a lot of the twin flames parts it comes in and it's energized uh, surrender first of all to the destiny that is the number one thing uh, surrender has uh, so many uh, shells it's like an onion you peel one but there is another one you peel one there is another one until you finally you surrender uh, your ego, your ego is not anymore in control, you're going to have the peace in the soul. Basically, whatever is going on, you're going to be like, okay, whatever, it is what it is. And um, that uh, will help you just in case that when you reconnect and that door is closed, you basically don't have this anymore. You're not to suffer you not to do anything and uh, decisions that you're going to make it make it from a soul don't make it because of uh, friends told you co-workers told you or anybody else actions that you're making out of a soul first of all you're gonna have a clean conscience and the second of all you're not gonna blame in yourself doesn't matter what's going to happen again just give you a warning again don't 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 have any expectations positive or negative just say the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth and if you ever think it goes away and if your twin flame is ready when you reconnect you will re-engage the love again and then you understand all this part of destiny and hopefully that will be working out for you and hopefully that also helped for the community. Thank you for the questions and be love.